Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today in this video we'll be taking a look at a brand new windows emulator for android which is created specifically for devices with mali gpu so this windows emulator for android works on mediatek processor exynos processor or any other processor that has mali gpu and funnily enough it is the fork of one of the more stable and best windows emulator for android it is the winlater mali so right here on the official github page of winlater mali you guys will be able to see that this fork of winlater is open source and it is 30 commits ahead of the original winlater android branch and the developer is working regularly so all the credits goes to him you will be able to see it is special winlater that is only created for virgil turnip and dxvk is removed in this version and it has special settings which is made for mali gpu android devices so you guys will be able to see two days ago winlater mali version 1.2 update bug fix was released and if we scroll down you'll be able to see the first release was about a week ago and you will see that the developer has specifically modified winlater to only support wine d3d as well as virtual settings various box 64 and box 86 versions are also available so what are we waiting for let's try it out so you'll be able to see i have already added winlater mali on my android device and you don't need to uninstall the previous version of winlater which you are using this is a fourth version so it has a different package name while it's being loaded be sure to let me know in the comment section down below which game should i test out on my mediatek processor android device this is redmi k50i with dimensity 8 1100 processor and 6 GB of RAM so if you guys want me to test out any PC games on this MediaTek processor Android device then be sure to comment down below and there we go guys everything has been loaded so let's quickly go to the settings option and let's check out the box 86 version so we get 0.3.7 we will use the default versions but for box 64 we'll go with 0.2.9 let's keep the box 64 preset as compatibility Anyways, you will be able to see that uh, the settings configuration is similar to win later Android but the changes I'll show you guys in a minute. We'll use the 800 by 600p resolution and in terms of graphics driver, there we go, we only have virtual and in terms of DX wrapper, we only have Wine D3D. Honestly, I prefer this over the other folks of Winlater like the Winlater Frost Emulator for MediaTek processors, not for Snapdragon because it is just very simple. Everything has been set up for you so you don't have to worry much about anything. Let's set the video memory size to 4 GB and let's go to driver advanced section. Wow 64 mode has been enabled. So I think it is using Wine 9.2. Let's create a brand new container and I'll check it out. There we go. Wine 9.2 is being used which is pretty cool. So let's just go ahead and run our container and see how well does Winlater or a windows emulator for android work on a mali gpu android device now if you try a normal version of winlater on any mediatek processor android device basically it will work or it won't work because it is very confusing to set up to various wine d3d version various virtual graphics driver so there we go the emulator has successfully started and it was very quick so i am hoping that uh, the emulator is optimized very well for MediaTek processor Android devices. There is one another idea if the developer is watching this video, I would like to recommend you to use a benchmarking app package name so that Mali GPU can unlock its full potential. If you use benchmarking package name then you will get better FPS. But there we go at the top left corner you will be able to see there are game presets. So basically if you want to uh, play Call of Duty Modern Warfare then you can simply tap here and wait until the process is done. Basically the developer has created presets according to the games that you might try to emulate so this is very limited because only few games are considered for now it is in beta stages obviously the developer will need to test out multiple games and then create special presets for it so that is a bit difficult to do if you go to this section right here you will be able to select the virtual version we have the latest mesa version 23.1.9 or mesa version 22.1.7 for fixing dead space anyways we'll go with the latest version as that has been done let's scroll down to the wine d3d section now this is the most important part because wine d3d matters quite a lot just like we use dxvk asynchronous 1.10.3 on our snapdragon processor android devices wine d3d also matters for example you can use original wine d3d for old games you can use wine d3d 3.6 for fallout games and more you can use wine 4.18 for good performance but as far as i know and i have tested it out wine 8.14 is pretty stable and wine d3d 9.0 proton has also been provided so we'll be trying it out in our today's video also if you go to the extra section you'll be able to find setups for open audio as well as vc reddish which i definitely recommend you guys to set up so in my opinion the developer has done a good job in simplifying the emulator for mali gpu users so yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video be sure to let me know in the comment section down below which game should i test out in future i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out